What's going on guys, Compound Zero Pretend back again for another video here on the channel. Um, it's been a while, I know, uh, but I'm here in the flesh, I'm real, I promise. I've even got a new headset to prove that I'm a different Connor from the past. Now, uh, today was the reason of topic of video and why have I decided to try turn on my camera after six months? Six months? It's, no, five, five months. Well, I have just completed this game. Days Gone. PlayStation 4. Was I excited for it? Yes. Have I played it? Yes. Have I finished it? Of course. It's me. Um, basically, I'm just gonna, uh, I finished the game, I'm gonna play the, uh, like, pretty much the prologue mission. Uh, pretty sure, uh, hopefully you guys will see it in the background by this time. Uh, and I'm just gonna try and talk about my thoughts and feelings on the game. So I'm gonna be looking up here, uh, cause that's where my monitor is. God, it's like I've forgotten how to do commentaries all together. Um, so, day's gone. What do I think, right? So, the game is very long. Is that a bad thing? Absolutely not. Uh, to be honest, the length of the storyline was amazing. I'm so glad it was as long as it was because there are so many games that uh, emphasize being story-based uh, or come out story-based. Well, not so many anymore, but there are games that come out who say that they're story-based, um, which they are, but then they're not entirely long. Uh, that would be the one and only complaint I would have with uh, the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game. Uh, if anything, uh, it would be the fact, obviously, that the game is about 20 hours long. Um, uh, or New Game Plus, I completed it in about 12. Um, so that would be my one complaint with Spider-Man compared to this, where uh, there isn't going to be... I, I, no, I can't see a New Game Plus really being added to Days Gone, which I think is um, a good choice as well. Um, uh, as a game as a whole, I say the the longevity of the actual storyline itself worked really, really well. Um, if I can show you the map here, uh, if you haven't seen the game, obviously, or if you haven't seen any of the game or anything, this is going to be spoilers. But essentially, you start all the way up here, um, essentially around here, actually, uh, or here? No, is it this this one? No, here, here. Oh God, there's a hold there now. Uh, you start here, and you get access to this little. Uh, you get access to this third of the map at the beginning of the game, uh, and then about halfway through the game, you get access to this middle section here, and then towards the end, you get this last final section down here. So as a tell, you can tell that obviously the map is really big. It is a big uh, map. It is a good thing that on your motorbike you get fuel upgrades in this, uh, because honestly, you do need a good portion of fuel all the way throughout the game. So, uh, as a longevity of the game, amazing. Uh, couldn't re uh, uh, longer, obviously, would always be better, I guess. But then you don't want to drown out the story too much. So, to, in in overall generalness, the longevity of the game was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, kind of sad to have finished it now, obviously, because but that's uh, what happens at the end of. Uh, Every game, uh, you get sad when you finish it because uh, then there's not much to do. I've got tons of stuff to do though. Uh, you get there are so many different storylines in this game uh, that I'm never giving up. That's what I'm finishing now. But you got bounty hunters where you have to kill certain people. You got infestations to clear out, ambushes, and then all the different hordes, which are challenges on themselves. They're so blood. Well, they're not difficult. They're easy to do. They just take a good damn while if you're not fully prepared. Um, so there are tons of stuff to do. There's uh, quite a few. There's a few collectibles, not as many as uh, in some games. But again, that's not also not a bad thing because uh, you can only have cer two, uh, a certain amount of uh, collectibles in the game before it gets too boring just collecting similar things, you know. So in general aspects, that's all all okay as well. Uh, the storyline really enjoyed the storyline. Was it didn't go where I thought it would go. Um, and there was some twist. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and leave it as much as out, just due to spoilers. But uh, the story was really good. It was really well thought out. As I say it didn't go exactly as I thought it would. Um, and I'm glad of that. Uh, you know, just by seeing of trailers, if it went exactly how it planned, then you know, then the trailer would give it all away, which it doesn't. So it's very good that it doesn't. Um, the gameplay in itself, uh, <laughs> I can't really talk on the gameplay because I played this in pretty much the entirety of this game uh, before the pre-patch game 
uh, or before the game day post uh, patch came out, and that's not because I had the game early. I actually bought the game on the day it came out, just a few hours afterwards. But my internet at the moment is so bad that it took about 17 days <laughs> to, and it's an over exaggeration, but not by much, uh, to download this patch. So I played this entire game, um, other than what you're seeing now, because it finally it finished updating uh, post. Um, release day patch and there were so many glitches there were so many visual errors but really it just it honestly made the game funny with uh with the how serious this game is compared to like some other zombie games stuff like that it's uh it added some um generality and uh obviously i was able to uh let the game off a little bit because i knew uh that this these game uh this was happening because i didn't have the patch so i wasn't really going to hold it against it too much um let's see if i can uh Quickly go into this mission. Uh, see if I have to talk over this or something. Yep, I, uh, I'll be back. <sighs> Here they are. I do, sweetheart. Okay, so we just grabbed our wedding ring to our wife, apparently. Uh, do we not have to give that back to her at all? Uh, she'd be at Lost Lake. That seems kind of stupid. I, you know, it would have been nice to... Uh, you know, to give the ring back to it. Uh, uh, okay, that didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, I guess I should have uh, fast traveled a little bit further away. Uh, I take on a horde, but I'm not really prepared to. Um, so I can't really do much. I guess I'll uh, drive over to the closest thing. I don't want to take on a Yeah, we'll do a Marauder Camp. That'll do. Marauder Camp will settle as content. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, so uh, obviously, uh, yeah, so I was able to let the game off uh, in terms of glitches pretty much for the most part that I knew it was because of the post game patch or pre game patch. Um, and some of, some people have said that they've experienced glitches in this game anyway, but you know, games have glitches anyway. Uh, people like to complain, obviously, um, all about uh, not having finished products these days, and you know, you're never going to have a completely perfect game, you know, uh, that's what patches are for. So if people really like, well, it's, it's to a certain degree, if you uh, like rate a game too much on just its uh, bugs alone, then you'll never enjoy it. So, uh, but this was certainly not the case for Days Gone. I say I really did enjoy it. The story, um, I say, um, that's what I was on about. The story uh, was really good um, all the way through. The only thing I would say is that the ending was pretty anticlimactic, and and I don't mean that as in like the way that the the story ended. Was satisfying, um, like uh, you felt re um, you felt sigh of relief and stuff after the game ended. It's um, without spoiling it. There's one character that you kill um, at the end of the game, uh, which uh, like I like the way he dies because it makes sense in the way that he dies, but it's just a bit anticlimactic because it all happened so fast. Um, and for those who may think I'm on about Schizo. Which it really isn't. Uh, uh, if I'm not on about Schizo, if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. So, I'm not on about Schizo. I'm on about Colonel Garrett. Um, I, hope, I think a few people will agree with me from what I've. Okay, fight each other. I'm not gonna bother with you guys. Um, some people have agreed with me. Some people haven't. Uh, but uh, I, I felt like it was a bit anticlimactic the way Colonel Garrett dies. But that's neither here or there. It doesn't really take much away from the game in terms of everything else. Like it was really well thought out. The voice acting was done really well. The actors who played the characters uh, did um, portray their emotions pretty well throughout the voice. Um, and honestly, the, char the characters overall in the game, like Deacon here, the main character, Deacon. Honestly, like there aren't many games that you fall in love with the main character, uh, but this is one of them for me. 
Um, Deacon uh, was an amazing character all the way through, as much as, as well as his best friend Boozer. He was also really good. Um, there are some characters like uh, Aiden Pierce from like Watch Dogs and stuff like that, where you just kind of, yeah, you know, you, you just kind of breeze over them and forget about them pretty quickly. I'm gonna have to get off and take care of these dogs. Um, so to have a, a nice, a, a likable character to play as uh, was refreshing to say the least. Sorry, Wolf. I missed that shot. And that one. Got that one, though. Anyone coming towards me? No? I'm almost out of ammo for this. Fuck my life. Um, so, so, yeah, as a whole, the characters were pretty good, too. Um, was there any characters I didn't like? Uh, even the prick schizzle was pretty good. He was a prick, but, you know, he was a good character overall. Oh, poor dear. Or is that a wolf? It might be a wolf. I don't know. Oh, it's a wolf. Okay. I don't mind. Wolf's tried to kill me, so that's fine. Um, uh, so yeah, characters were all good. Story was all good. Longevity was good. Um, bugs and errors. Like I say, I experienced tons of them, but again, not down to me. Uh, not down to the game, really, or anything like that. So, as a whole, I would rate this game about 7.5 out of 10. Um... Even then, 7.5 just seems like a really no number, you know? Like, almost as if it shouldn't be that little of a rating. Because I feel like I've marked it down for, like, so many things, but then I'm like, they weren't actually that bad. And, like, when I rated it, I was thinking about the glitches, but now talking to you guys... Realize that I can't really complain about the glitches because obviously it was down to me not really waiting to finish the downloads and stuff like that. But you know, you're not, you're not gonna wait like 17 hours to finish it. Uh, come on, more orders. Uh, this is gonna be difficult to talk while trying to kill people. Ah, uh, uh, die. Okay, thank you. And uh, you're gonna die too. The gunplay, uh, as another factor of this, is also really good. As well, the guns work really well together. I like, I love the loadout I have now currently. Uh, I've basically got a Desert Eagle, um, a, a semi-automatic sniper rifle. It kind of reminds me of like the Barrett 50 Cal from. Uh, okay, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, you fucking now. Oh, run, 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 run. That's a lot of zombies. Oh, there's a horde here, isn't there? I can let them die. Do I have anything to use? Oh, I have I have napalm. Roads will be a little safer now. This is gonna be difficult. I've hidden from the zombies, so they may not be able to see me. I don't know. Yoink! Yoink! No, they know exactly where I am. Fuck my life. Yeah, napalm, go. Da -na 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 -na. I really wish I had my light machine gun. It would be severely helpful. Oh crap, 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 crap. I need to get to my saddlebag. Okay, I got the ammo. That's all I needed. That's all I fucking needed. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Run, 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 run. Uh, this is uh, a baby horde, I would say. Uh, it's not really a horde, it's just a lot of swarmers, um, to be honest. It's probably an infestation, to, if anything, that was uh, nearby. Um, so it's not as uh, trolling as the whole hordes themselves. Um, but I hope this gives you a, a good show of the... Um, Gives a give show the uh, the gunplay. Is it a hold? Oh. No. Okay. Uh, let's lift this my bike back up so I can get out if I need to. Um, I hope it gives you a good idea of the gunplay. Uh, let's say I've got the Desert Eagle, uh, basically Barrett 50 cal, and then a Tommy gun, which I, I thought was a really uh, cool inclusion in the game. Like we've uh, you get the Tommy gun in quite a few games now, but uh, I really like the way it is in this game. Uh, I really enjoy using it. Uh, good gun to use. Powerful. Um, the one thing I would like to see added to this game, uh, if I was, if they were to do it again, would be the 
um, able to add more guns to your holster, I guess. I, I know three guns is like, as a realistic, is probably still a bit overpowered. But the, the inability to have a light machine gun on you and a sniper rifle is quite damning. Um, for the sense of, with hordes, I would 100% say you you don't really 100% you don't need that for 100% that's a bit probably a push of a stretch if you really wanted to and um, play it outstretched even longer than the hordes already take you could use you could keep the sniper on you and just go through uh, bags and bags of ammo of the tobby gun as long as long as you had a bunch of ex, um, like explodables and stuff like that as well um, but my personal preference when taking on hordes is to have the RPD uh, there, with, along with the Tommy gun, it just cuts through them pretty well. So, if you're gonna play this game, that's a pro tip. So, but uh, the inability to have an RPD or, or have a light machine gun and a sniper rifle is kind of sucks. Um, and the fact that you can't have a shotgun as well, uh, well, you can have a shotgun, you can have it as a primary, but uh, I prefer having the range of the um, pistol myself. So, I guess that's, that, that's more down to me. So, um, again, it's just more playstyles where you can play it. There are plenty of places in around the map to choose um, what you want like as you load out. Uh, like, uh, for instance, it's this gun locker here. Uh, you have your guns here. Like These are the guns I've got throughout the games as well. Uh, Boozer shotgun you get through the story. Uh, I got like this thing, but I prefer my Desert Eagle. Uh, I got another sniper rifle. But my BFG is uh, quite a bit better, as you can see. That's the RPD I use. Uh, I actually need a better one. Oh, actually, I can uh, I can buy a better one now as I'm wrapping up because uh, I've been waiting for this actually. So I hope uh, this gives you an idea. <laughs> like I know it as a review or talking about it, it, it hasn't really been too helpful. But I just wanted to sit down talk to you guys about how I felt about the game, how I enjoyed it. Uh, am I sorry I didn't upload it for you guys? Well, I'll probably always be sorry about not uploading something I enjoyed. But at the same time, YouTube for me right now isn't a big worry. <laughs> Nor need. Can I buy guns here or do I have to? No, I can. I think I can buy guns here. Um, it's not a big worry for me at the moment. Uh, I'm really not bothered. Uh, I'll upload for you guys uh, when I feel like it and when I have stuff to upload, which is not the case at the moment. Um, I could finish stuff, but I don't want to. Um, so, honestly, just to sit back, sit back for a while and play games that I want to play and enjoy myself without having to worry about uploading, stress uploading to you guys. It's uh, It's been doing wonders. <laughs> wonders for me. Um, so, sitting back and enjoying play, playing Days Gone over the past couple of days, or about a week or so actually, it came out a week ago uh, to when I'm recording this video and uh, and the only reason it took me so long to finish and complete and play uh, was because I've got assignments and exams due currently at this time so I've been uh, obviously taking the appropriate breaks when it came when it comes to the whole uh, revising and playing stuff at the same time. Uh, no, so wait, wait, where the fuck is the RPD I want? Ha. Hmm. Wait, okay, so I'm only level 2, so there's probably... Oh, I can't buy parts here. Uh, do I really... <sighs> do I need to, go to I need to go to Diamond Lake? Diamond Lake. Diamond Lake. There may not even be guns here. I think there's bike parts, but I swear there was a uh, there was a light machine gun somewhere that I really wanted that wasn't an RPD. Maybe it was Iron Mike's? I don't know. Maybe I have to be level 3 for it. I don't know. Uh, but... That's where I'm about to call it for this video. Uh, I know it's been a bit all over the place, but I'm hoping that the gameplay and stuff like that give you a, an insight to what you can expect to play with the gunfights and everything like that. Uh, the uh, audio, uh, stuff like that, the visuals. Uh, as a whole, like after I got over the, the, the patch, uh, the game is a very, very nice looking. Uh, as you can see, at least I hope you can see. Can I, can I buy guns from you? No, I cannot. Okay. That's fine. So, uh, but I can buy uh, stuff. Can't get the engine yet. Can't get that yet. <laughs> I'm missing out on a few things, cause, but I'll get those throughout playing the game. So, anyway, yeah, that is where I'm going to end it, so guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I hope you guys like to know that I'm still alive. Uh, you know, 
stuff like that. But uh, other than that, guys, uh, the next thing you can probably look forward to for me possibly is a couple of vlogs. I'm going away to Cardiff uh, from the May the 17th to May the 20th. I'm going to go see WWE Live with my friends Ra Ra Zaman and Rabia, maybe someone else as well, if I can convince them to come. Um, as well as uh, on Sunday, I'm seeing KSI Live in uh, Cardiff as well. So that'll be fun. I may go around exploring on Saturday as well and take you guys with me. I don't know. But uh, other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.